Are you those people who are always waiting for a sign to pursue their passion in art, but you're always not sure when you should start? Well, today, I'm going to show you on how you can unleash your creativity and dive in the world of art. At your age of 20s, if you want to be a full-time artist as early as that, you need to learn to commit. What I mean about that is make art every day as much as you can. I did this before for 30 days and I did see some huge improvements in my drawing. And plus, making art every day makes you feel better and motivated because if you look back from the start, you will see some huge improvements. And that is why I always have the sketchbook to see my progress. So you need to take responsibility of your life. Even it's hard at first and you always struggle on the practicing and you're always facing some burnouts. As artists, we also need to take some rest at least two days. It's like being a bodybuilder, you know. You work out five times a week and the rest days is on a weekend. Well, as the same as artists too. Don't force yourself to make art if you're unmotivated or else it will gotten worse and makes you overthink. Because having a good mental health is one of the important you should prioritize. Or if you're having an art block for months now or even a year, I think you need to fix yourself first with some training like going to a gym, working out from home. I think that's the best decision you should make first to fix your mental health. So don't be afraid and don't overthink about what's in your head. Just take some action because it is for your own good. So first thing foremost, you need to set your schedule. Um, personally, I really hate setting up my schedule so I don't do that. But I have some specific routine that I personally do always. So first thing in the morning, I wake up at 7.30 a.m. with some coffee, no sugar. And that time, I don't do workouts. I was just sitting here in my desk, just doing some stuff with some email, writing scripts, eating breakfast, take notes, watch YouTube. Because I'm not a type of person like having an alarm every hours or minutes, which is kinda irritating. So it's okay to be restless sometimes because you're not a robot, you know? Disciplining yourself, it doesn't mean you need to be hard on yourself, right? Because it can be the cause why you're always burning out. Okay, for the number two is stay organized. One of the main reasons why you're always lazy is just because your desk setup is sucks. So in order to have a focus in mind while you're practicing or studying, get used to organize your things with your desk. In my experience, I always organize my desk when I'm done with my painting and that really helps me to reset my mind and to create a positive mood. Reduce some stress and makes you feel relaxed before bed. And that habit, it's it just makes you feel better as a productive person. Also, a big shout out to me then for sending these products. I would say this products is built in high quality, especially on a drawing easel that I'm currently using, which just allows you to work at your prepared angle for maximum comfort, whether you're sketching, drawing, painting. Also, I like their brushes that I personally use it for a month now because of the softness of each brush tips where you could also use this using watercolor, gouache, and acrylics and that includes with a small ceramic palette and this palette knife 
which is just perfect for my desk because it doesn't take much of that space while I'm painting and also good for aesthetics. So I would say I really recommend you this one because they are also cheap and good for this price. And I have a link in my description below so you guys can check it out too. So before I continue this painting, if you're a person who always look into improve your skills, whether it's cinematography, color grading, drawing, painting, and you're always open to learn with something new, let me introduce to you with our partner, Skillshare. Skillshare is one of the biggest online learning community for creatives. 
with a thousand of classes led by industry pros with a wide range of topics from film, illustration, design, freelance, productivity, and more. Skill shares the classes you need to start or improve upon your skills and to take your career to the next level. If you don't know, I always use Skillshare for a couple of months now. When I first began my filming career and my YouTube channel, I always use Skillshare to improve my work faster. But now, with learning paths, they made it easier than ever to go, from beginner to pro in no time. Learning paths are classes that are hand-picked to save your time searching the perfect quality content in the category of your choice. They are not just only available for beginners, but also for those who are already advanced. Now, if I were just starting out all over again, and I needed to learn about making YouTube videos, I will start by Ali to learn their general process and tips to improve my videos. So what are you waiting for? Join me with these amazing classes and discover your skills with Skillshare. I promise you, it would be worth it. And the first 500 people to use the link in my description below will get a 1 month free trial of Skillshare. So a big thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I know every one of us have dreams that we wanted to achieve someday. And even me of course, but for some reason, we always hear, we afraid of failure of being judged. As an artist for over 8 years now, I experienced a thousand of judgment through social media that my artist sucks and ugly, and also my editing gets a lot of comments that I'm a copycat. I know, I know, it hurts and got me depressed for a moment. But for me, that's totally fine because sometimes you just need to take a moment and accept those negative things into like learning from your mistakes to do the right thing and improve even more. People are just love to criticize people's work. Well, life isn't perfect, you know. You just need to be strong and accept those bad critics and set that as a reminder that you need to be better and keep practicing until you're good at it. So it's okay. Those negative things, it's fine as long as you have dreams to be a good artist and you didn't give up about making art. So you just need to keep pushing forward because they're experiencing the same thing as you do. So don't you ever let the negative things eat you because all what matters is, is you that you're happy about what you're doing and you're enjoying it. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it guys. And I hope this helps for those who are still finding their way to make a living as an artist because you're not alone. Just remember, you don't need the motivation in life. All you need is discipline with yourself. So, see you again for the next one. Bye-bye. Easy rider on the highway Station wagon going slow Windows open, you are basking In the bluegrass radio mm. It is easy now Forget